Hallelujah, my good friend, wherever you are, let us believe and pray. Therefore, I want to share the word of God shortly with you. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, I thank you for this moment. I'm going to share the word of God with your people. Lord, use me as a vessel towards their life. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray and believe. Amen, amen. My good friend, open with me direct to the book of Romans, chapter number 10. The Bible says in Romans, chapter number 10, that is verses 10, it says, for with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. Praise the name of Jesus. With our mouth we confessed that Christ is the Lord. With what we do, we confessed that Christ is the Lord. And he remains the Lord in our life. He remains the Lord in you. He remains the Lord because you confessed. Reversing that, it's very hard. One, it comes out. That is what you need in your life. Praise the name of Jesus. And here the Bible says again, the same, same way it says, For with the heart, the man believed unto righteousness. Inside your heart, you believe unto righteousness. You believe that Christ is there. You believe that he is, he is there. Therefore, I tell someone, you are here looking unto me. Is the belief you have, is the faith you hold, is the faith you have that Jesus has saved you, that Jesus is there for you, that Jesus is there to rescue you. If you believe in him, therefore, you will not fail in life. The Bible has set has stated here and said, For with the heart man believeth. With the heart you believe. If you didn't have the heart in you, you can't believe. But because of this heart, you believe that there is God. You believe that there is, there is power. You believe that there is healing. Therefore today, wherever you are, receive your healing because you believe there is healing. Receive your miracle because you believe there is miracle in your heart. It takes faith to believe. Therefore, God wants us to believe. God wants us to know him deeper and deeper so that you receive what is supposed to be yours. The devil always attacks us knowing that one of the weakest ways in us is believing. Believing is one of the weaknesses the devil attacks us with. He knows our weakness is believing. And he knows you can believe and not have sure with it. But if you have sure of your God, healing is your portion. Riches is your portion. And you will never fail in life. Father, I thank you for the word. Thank you for that person who have listened. Lord, let them believe in you. Let them walk in you. Let, us, let, them, let them trust in you. Let them remember that you alone, you are worthy of their blessing. You are worthy of holding them to another level. In Jesus' mighty name I pray and believe. Amen, amen. You are there. Now believe in Christ. I just want to pray for you. Salvation. Believe that he is there with you. Therefore, I just want you to repeat this word after me. Father, I come before you. I am a sinner. I have sinned against you. Lord, forgive me. Many years I've been out not knowing your ways. But today, I've known your ways. Forgive me. Write my name in the book of life. Remove my name in the book of darkness. Thank you, Jehovah, for your salvation. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Father, thank you for that person who have prayed. Lord, enable them to walk in salvation. Enable them to know you better and better. Let them never regret the salvation they have. In Jesus' mighty name. I pray. Amen. And therefore, I leave you with this word and says, only believe in Christ. Keep on believing in him. When you believe in God, no regret at all in your life. Shalom. Peace of God be your portion. And keep on praying, knowing that he is with you. Stand firm with him. Shalom. Peace be upon your life.